Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create a stateful component. One of the most important topics in React is state. State consists of any data your application needs to know about that can change over time. You want your apps to respond to state changes and present an updated user interface when necessary. React offers a nice solution for the state management of modern web applications. You create state in React component by declaring a state property on the component class in its constructor. This initializes the component with state when it is created. The state properly must be set to a JavaScript object. Declaring it looks like this. So here they say <clears throat> they're in the constructor property. So inside of the constructor, they're saying this dot state is equal to an object. You have access to the state object throughout the life of your component. You can update it, render it, in your user interface and pass it as prop to child components. The state object can be as complex or as simple as you need it to be. Note that you must create a class component by extending react.component in order to create state like this. So here they say they're extending react.component. So in order to do this, you need to do the class stateful component. It needs to extend react component. We were doing previous components where we didn't have this and that would not work with state. <clears throat> there is a component, a component in the code editor that is trying to render a name. Here we go. It's trying to render a name property from its state. However, there is no state defined. Initialize the component with state in the constructor and assign your name to a property of name. Here they even give you a clue. Initialize state here. So you can say this dot state and then inside of this dot state we're going to add an object and within the object we're going to say uh, name. And uh, I think we need to add in a string so that we actually have a name in here. So I'm just going to say useful programmer. Cool, useful programmer, there it is. I think if we run the test, this will pass. Okay, uh, just kind of to like push this point home, you can do, this is an object, so you can set anything here. Like you could say uh, the, the today, like this year. This, I'm just making stuff up, but um, that would be like new date uh, dot um, get full year. And then in here, you could say, like, put it in within a P element, you could say the year, it's the year, and then in here, you can say this dot state dot uh, this year, and then close the P element. Uh, it is the year. Oh, and I've got the semicolon up here. So I could get rid of all that stuff, and now it, it is the year 2020. So now we're adding to the state this dot state dot this year now if um we wrote this application and then uh you know on december 31st this application would automatically update to 2021 um uh, on or whatever the next year was so this is now a, a stateful object it actually uh it changes based upon the environment that it's in so that's kind of the idea of where we're going with state um i hope that that gives you an idea i mean and you could add anything in here you can keep going to you could make a function um, you could have something like <clears throat> function uh, give whatever um, hello wor hello world right and within hello hello world you could return um, just a string hello world and then if you were to say here like um, message from function. That function could have all sorts of things, but here we can say, hello, uh, wor the world. We could have hello world in here as well. And then in the uh, this dot message from function dot, or this dot state dot mes message from function. Hello world. Oh, I misspelled it. And now we've got this. So now we're pulling in a um, from another function that just returns a string. And then obviously, once we have, once we're able to take in functions, uh, you know, results from functions, we could essentially do anything that we want from here, from making API calls to doing whatever. So this is kind of the idea of state. Now, if you're just following along because you want to pass the tests, this is the only thing you have to do. All of this stuff is just me going into a little bit more detail about how this stuff works. 
You don't need any of this stuff. This is going to pass your tests. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.